Master of Zero back with a brand new video and today we are back in some Rainbow Six Siege casual because we are going to be doing some commentary for shoutcasting. So basically if you guys haven't already saw one of my videos of me shoutcasting Rainbow Six Siege, it's going to be another video. I hope you guys do enjoy. It's so basically a good rundown of this is I pick an operator, I kill myself, and then we shoutcast or commentate the rest of the match. So basically, if you guys have watched Pro League or anything like that, that's basically what we're going to be doing. If you guys haven't saw any of my videos, you guys are in for a treat because it is absolutely amazing. My shoutcasting skills are, as I like to tell myself, my shoutcasting skills are pretty good. So I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys hear any other background noise, I apologize for it. But I will try to do my best to give you guys the best shoutcasting experience that I can. Depending on how our team does or if they ever, um, you know, if we ever need to come back or anything like that, then I'll play like one round just to help my team try to like come back. But other than that, we'll basically be commentating everyone on our team. So like, we have an IQ, we have a Buck, a Fuse, and a Thrasher. Those are four other shoutcasts, I mean four other operators we have that we're going to be shoutcasting today. And yeah, we're in for a good treat. We want to get some Echo, a Kaid, a Bandit, a Valkyrie, not knowing who the last operator is left. I'm going to see if we can locate him or her now. Alrighty. Alright, let's go, boys. Let's spawn the front yard. Just just for the meme cultures. Alright, here we go. I kind of want to wait till everyone gets there. Okay. Let's go right ahead and blow ourselves up. So we can start the shout casting. And here we go. Starting off the round here, we have Fuse going in from the north. Going all the way around to the east side, trying to locate the objective and get a good sight in as we switch over back to the IQ. Opening the window, trying to spot and locate all the people. Using this pistol as it gives her more speed, teabagging up and down. Given in that pro commentary strat. As we see the buck, they are now communicating. No, they're going to run in together. And we're going to see what both of them can commentate for that. As we have the Thrasher, he is still FK. We're going to be back to him. Switching back over to the Fuse. He is now still trying to work his way around, trying to get it into in the objective. As he goes up to the window, here's the run up by the Kavir, which is now we know the last operator they have left. Here the buck opens up a window next to blue bar. Or just regular bar. He's going to try to go in there. Get in the angle. Here steps right next to him. Back to the IQ. She's going right by the stair. Still has that pistol. Switches over to the LMG. And the gun goes up against the Kaid. Takes damage by the Kaid and then dies. Switches over to the IQ. The IQ with the LMG gets taken out by the Kaid. That is a 2v5 left for the views and the Thrasher who is still AFK. And they are voting to kick him right now. As you still have the fuse, still with the shield, he can try and take this out. Here's a run out up top by the Kavera. He's going to try hit fire, aiming in, still couldn't get the shots off. He's going to reload his pistol. As he's running, sprinting full steam ahead, trying to get a repel up to the second floor to take out that K8. Still a 2v5. The stuff the fracture still FK as the fuse gets the kill. Taking out the bandit is now a 2v5. As he is still working his way around. Trying, he still has not entered the building. A minute, two minutes in, and still hasn't entered the building yet. He's now instant confronted by the Valkyrie. Leans uh, right, and he gets taken out the by the Valkyrie. That's going to be game for the blue team. They are going to lose that round to the orange team. And we're going to see if they can try to get a little comeback in the next round. As Blue Chippy with only one kill for his whole team on the leaderboard, we have Blue Tank 215 with two, Dog Dragon 817 with one kill for Orange Team. We're gonna see which both of these teams can cancel out and get this win. So I need someone with impacts. Um, who has impacts? All right. No, I need someone with C4, Pulse. Alright, that's just basically a first round rundown of my commentating skills. If you guys did find that enjoyable, which, if I find more entertaining games 
or for having more entertaining games and being able to switch back and forth, then of course I could get we you know need to better the content. Container. So I am gonna reinforce just of course to help my team out, you know. And then we're gonna start commentating. So on the leaderboard for the blue team, we have the Kavera, we have the Castle, we have the we have the Yager, we have the Legion. All four good operators. As they're gonna try to take this out. Kavera being a good roamer, and also Legion stopping the entry frag. So we have this castle trying to board up these windows, so we're not getting any entry frags by the orange team. As you see drones going by, they have now found the objective. They're gonna see what they can do. Five seconds. Five seconds to go. Round two. Orange team looking to put blue team away. And this is gonna be round. All right, here we go, boys. Round two commentary. Switching on back over to the first sight of the Legion. Holding this right angle as he hears the window go off. Doesn't turn to look as Jaeger is now boarding up a window. He's now barricading himself the inside the objective. Pro strats right here. Trying to make sure no one has a good chance of getting in. As we switch over to Castle, trying to destroy his own barricade. Little does he know that this will rip off immediately. As he pings a location for any one of his teammates. You can see running that M1014 shotgun. That's an exceptional good range. We're going to see what he can do. Switching over to the Kavera. She is now roaming in the bathtub. Here's some stuff. Uses a silent step to try to pinpoint locations. For the orange team, they are running that Montane, which is going to be very valuable for him to run inside the objective. Switching back over to the Legion. He is now throwing a group mine. Here's shots coming from the window next to him. Looks right to look at him, right by the stairs. And he's not going to pay no mind for it as it doesn't pertain to him. Switching back over to the castle. He is throwing shots out to that window. Trying to get a cheeky little headshot. Opening up the window. Peeking the location for his teammates. The Kavera still has not found anyone. The Jaeger gets taken out by the Maverick. As, they, been compromised. Whoo, as this castle gets a cheeky little shotgun shot. That's going to be a 3v4 for the blue team. As we show back to the Kavera, being confronted by the Montane and gets the headshot of the Montane. That's going to be the round. Legion getting the kill also. Castle back getting taken out. Kavera, 1v2 situation. 2v2 situation. As she is being confronted by somebody. It's now a 2v2 situation. She is now on 10 HP. Switching back up with the Legion. He is now still stuck in the objective. Throwing out goo mines. Kavera, 10 HP in a dream. Flanking at a very good exceptional round. With that M2 assault rifle. As Legion hits shots next to him. We're going to see what this Kavera could do. Using the red dot. Nice fully magazine gun loaded. Here's... She hears footsteps next to her, but don't know exactly where they come. She's the drone. Couldn't quite get the drone taken out. Here's the drone again. As they're going to be trying to spot this Kavera out. She's two dead bodies. We're going to see what she can do. Switch back over to Lee's. Hey, he's still stuck in the objective. Kavera going back to the objective, knowing this is the only safe place for her to be at. She's going to barricade this window. She's being now tracked by Jackal. They're not in a good spot for her. Legion, the only 100 HP person on the team left alive. 2v2 situation. We do know that the orange team has that jackal advantage to spot that Kavera. Here's drones. They do have a twitch, which is the next, next operator. She's going to be taken out One by the man. twitch drone. Wow, what a play. 1v2 situation for the Legion. He's going to be going up against a Jackal left. in a Twitch. Not knowing what to do. Here's the next to him. But there's a turn. It gets taken out by the Twitch. That's going to be a round loss for the Orange team as they go up 2-0. The blue team being down 2-0. As we see, checking the leaderboards, we see Envy Boy 16 has a kill. We see Ramos 78, 24, 2 has a kill. And for the, other, for the Orange team, we do have Dog Dragon. Who has three kills, three and no in the leader, but that's a pretty good, pretty good advantage. And we have Blue Tank 215 with two kills, one death. And everyone on their team, except for August Byrne, has a kill. We're gonna see if they can close the blue team out and get this win for their team. Catch you guys in the next one. So, guys, 
that was round two of commentary. Of course, like I said, I am going to play this round just to help my team come back and we get some more commentary games in. That's just what I like to do. Commentary video, link to that will be in the description. Make sure you go check that out because that was actually pretty good. But we're going to go play this round and try to come back for our team. These guys aren't really good, but we'll see. Awesome. Bro, I love commentary. I really do. Commentating is so fun. As the orange team is going to get spotted, all five of them are now spotted as we they're running a Bandit Frost Maestro Castle and a Caveira. Speaking about these operators, we have on the orange blue team running the Thermite, Sophia, Twitch, Blackbeard, and a Fuse. Looking, that, looking pretty good. We're going to see how this round can play out as we get one left. It is now a 4v5 situation. Hope you guys find this round enjoyable. And we're gonna be going. So, we're gonna probably come in this way. Can't shoot the camera. To save my life. Alright, boys. I went the wrong way. I have to go around this way. Alrighty, got that open. Hopefully, if we can take out Kavera and Maestro, we'll be fine. Because I, I can deal with Bandit, you know, and Castle and Frost, but Maestro. That ACOG and Kavira roaming. What's to say? I hear someone there. I don't want to go and peek that. I always die if I do. Oh, you know what? That's I usually go to Sophia. But for this time, take off from the top. We're gonna look Blackbeard peek that as he has that headshot protection. Blast grenade shots going on. My guy whiffed all my shots. I literally, oh my god. As we switch back over to the back beer, he's gonna be taken out by a roundup by the frost. And that's gonna be a 2v5 situation for Sophia and Twitch. As Twitch gets back on the drone, trying to skin the maestro, who should be dead right now. 2v5 situation though. Sophia taking out the Kavera, getting that cheeky little 2k for the team. 2v3 situation. We have Castle, Maestro, and Frost. That's the life. As Maestro's gonna take down the Castle Barricade. And he's now gonna try to be taken out by Sophia. As he hears shots going in by the Twitch, gets a kill assist from me. And the Castle's gonna get taken out, but Sophia is gonna get right taken out by the Castle? So, by the frost, I believe. Twitch, blue acorn. Acorn? A, a? I don't know. Last live. 1v2 switch in a minute and 25 seconds left on the clock. Match point. Can she clutch it for the team? We're going to have to wait and see. As she knows the frost is not slapped alive with the maestro. Acog advantage for the maestro, which is not in a pretty good spot for him. I mean, for the Frost, but we're going to see if they both... None of them in the objective, not knowing where both of them are right now. She's going to try to rush in there to have advantage. We're going to see what she can do next. Peeking upstairs, trying to find these operators. As she sees them right in the corner, gets taken out. And that's going to be the round for the blue team as the orange team wins 3-0. Wow, what bad droning skills. Jesus, as Blue Tank 15 is going to go 5-1 and one to get MVP for his team. That's going to be game. I hope you guys did enjoy that epic commentary skills. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like. Hit that subscribe button for more. Also, check out my other commentary video. Link to that video will be in the description. Hope you guys enjoy.